ohm's law states that the voltage or potential difference between two points is directly proportional to the current or electricity passing through the resistance and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit so ohm's law can be defined as the amount of electric current through a metal conductor at a constant temperature in a circuit is proportional to the voltage across the conductor and can be described by i is equal to v divided by r where i is the current through the conductor v is the voltage across the conductor and r is the resistance of the conductor in other words at constant temperature the resistance of the conductor is constant independent of the voltage applied across it or current passed through it this relationship between current voltage and resistance was discovered by german scientist george simon ohm ohm's law tells us that if a conductor is at a constant temperature the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across it this means that if we plot voltage on the x axis of a graph and current on the y axis of the graph we will get a straight line the gradient of the straight line graph is related to the resistance of the conductor as i divided by v is equal to 1 divided by r this can be rearranged in terms of the constant resistance as r is equal to v divided by i the si unit of resistance is ohms and is denoted by greek letter omega it is sometimes easier to remember this ohms law relationship by using pictures here the three quantities of voltage current and resistance have been superimposed into a triangle giving voltage at the top with current and resistance below this arrangement represents the actual position of each quantity within the ohms law formulas then by using ohms law we can see that a voltage of 1 volt applied to a resistor of 1 ohm will cause a current of 1 ampere to flow and the greater the resistance value the less current that will flow for a given applied voltage any electrical device or component that obeys ohm's law that is the current flowing through it is proportional to the voltage across it we can also understand ohm's law if we apply it to the water and pipe analogy if we have a water pump that exerts pressure to push water around a circuit through a restriction we can model how the three variables interrelate if the resistance to water flow stays the same and the pump pressure increases the flow rate must also increase if the pressure stays the same and the resistance increases then the flow rate must decrease in electrical terms this is represented by two circuits with equal voltages and different resistances the circuit with the higher resistance will allow less charge to flow meaning the circuit with higher resistance has less current flowing through it